Welcome. Today we're going to look at an app called Make Time, which is supposed to help you do some time blocking or some planning of your day anyway. Before we do that, I want to let you know there's two ways to support the channel. Number one is to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron, support the channel. Number two is to go to, oh, I keep always lose this, curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, where you can take one of my courses. I've got one on time blocking. I have one on tick tick. If you want to go straight to the time blocking one, you go to curtismichael.ca slash skill time, one word. I don't know why I put up two, one word. Now let's dive into make time. Now the focus of make time is a single task in the day that they call your highlight. So let's say it was, oh, I don't know, waxing skis. It's one of the tasks I had to do over the holidays. Done. And now I can put it in my day. So you can drag it and it actually has my um, my calendar in there. Right? So you have to read, have something else that's not showing me the time of. My wife has to put uh, bidding items out, she says. Um, although she'll be skiing. Oh, before she goes skiing. So I can put this in wherever. Let's say I was going to wax skis during treadmill time. And now I can hit high, set highlight. And with my highlight set, I'm, guess, ready. Now this does not sync over to my regular calendar. Something else I can do here is I can look at the tactics. So this actually kind of comes with the tactics of their book. So it tells me like, what is a highlight? And I could read through all of this. All right, and you can see read more on page 27 of Make Time there at the bottom, which is the book. All right, I can write it down, schedule the highlight, batch the little stuff, and then there's even more tactics I want to go through the book. So in many ways, this feels like a uh, highlight for the book. Like, hey, you should really do this. Check out our book. So now when we're ready to focus on a task, we can go over to what's called laser. And this is when I could set a timer, right? This is presented by Time Timer. Uh, it has my laser tactics again. So what's laser mode, distraction free phone, log out, ignore the news, right? So and yet, then I hit start the timer and now I have a timer that it's going to tell me to laser focus on this. Now this is actually intended to sit in front of you on your desk to like be a reminder um, to stay lasered on your Work at hand. We'll get back to that. I'm gonna stop the timer. And finally, you got reflect, right? You come in here, reflect. Did I make time for my highlight? Let's say I did make time for my highlight. Yay, party time. How did I feel? Eh, I felt, say, lasered at seven. I had energy. Yeah, I had eight energy. Tactics I tried today. I don't know. Tactics to try again tomorrow and a moment I'm grateful for. So. Say skiing is a moment I'm grateful for because I, I like skiing and save. So you go now I actually have like a log and you could look back say, over your log of days to see how you have done um, over the days. So that's the big things in the app. That's how you use it. Now, when you look at the app, there's a few things that I think it does poorly or just doesn't take into account very well. Number one, this is an iPhone app. This is not for your iPad. So I've put up on my iPad. It is, you know, not the right orientation. It shrunk down and it's dumb. So great. If you're on an iPad, you're just out of luck on this. Now, one of the other things, like one of the big things that come in here um, by checking your phone is that one of the things that I continually come back to in time blocking and almost any other productivity thing is to put your phone away. Don't even have it in your office. Have it like turned off, muted away. And so mine is usually, you know, far over my shoulder here, muted on a charging pad, not being used. This requires you to have your phone in front of you. And despite what they say, like have a distraction free phone, you're still going to have phone calls. You're still going to have messages coming through. There's still going to be things that come through because of the nature of the device being a phone. I just don't see how you achieve that then, right? I can see if it's on your iPad, yes, I can have a distraction-free iPad because it's not getting phone calls. It's not getting some of these other things. That is the purpose of the device. But make time is only on your iPhone. So you just have to, or on your phone, right? It's on, I believe it has an Android app as well. It's only available there. So then that's it. You just have to deal with the notifications or turn them off. So we like make the device not function as it should. So ultimately, am I going to recommend make time? No, I'm not going to recommend make time. I just don't think that the functionality you get uh, in the phone version is worthwhile. You're going to have to have your phone around you, like visible on your desk regularly to be able to use it. And that it seems like counterintuitive to anything. 
So what do I recommend instead for time blocking? Number one, I have a digital time blocking video, which will be linked up above and in the description below. Number two, I have an analog time blocking video. That is what I've done for years. Uh, I think I say in those two videos that, oh, you do digital time blocking now mostly, and I actually have kind of switched back and forth, um, switched back to analog time blocking. That's like the thing I do every day. You can even see it right here. I'll cover up my notes a bit. That's my analog time block right there for yesterday. I did a day, and then if I switch back, you can see like, I laid out my week too first. That's what I've been doing for years. Uh, and then I, you know, I did a digital time blocking for, oh, probably the last half of 2020, I did digital time blocking and now I've gone back to analog. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. And YouTube says that they will let you know something happens, but who knows? Uh, the other ways to support the channel are to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron or to go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, where you can take a course. And if you specifically want my time blocking course, you go to curtismichael.ca slash skill time, one word, and that will take you directly to my time blocking course. Remember, patrons get my courses for free. So that's a good way to just support the channel and get the course for free. Have an excellent day.